presidents, few would have expected you to do a film about President Nixon. Please elaborate why you chose to portray a different side of Nixon that few knew. I, I say Nixon, I think we all knew that Nixon was a great character. I mean, people said this years ago when he resigned. I mean, he was he was King Lear-like to some, he was Richard III to others, he was dark, Machiavellian. I think we all were fascinated by his psyche. Certainly, uh, I approached it from the point of view of what, a little bit through my father's world. Uh, I think that there was a betrayal. I mean, there was, for me, as a young man growing up in New York, a World War II generation. And I, and I thought that, that Eisenhower, in many ways, amplified the best of it. And there were many fine men, Marshall, uh, so many. I mean, there were so many distinguished men I knew, but maybe I was young and maybe I didn't. But then on the other hand, there was this other side of World War II that's pretty sleazy. And out of World War II grew McCarthy and Nixon. Uh, Nixon is, you know, is a, is a typical kind of guy in the rear, right, playing poker, making money. You know, the, uh, the Mr. Roberts types, you know. And they're the guys who, like, emerge from World War II as the most anti-communist guys of all. So it was like, I was fascinated by that dichotomy in, in America. But by the end of the film, you feel through Anthony Hopkins and your direction, you actually yeah. feel for Nixon, even people that were on the opposite side and stuff. Well, in a way, you know, it's, it's, you go, you're psychosomatic, because you know, you also you deal with your father. He was a white Republican, but he wasn't Nixon. Mm -hmm. But he, he, he was given a medal by Nixon. Mm -hmm. He went down to Washington, he got a medal as an economist. So Nixon was their guy, you know, that younger generation after Eisenhower. He was their guy, but Eisenhower never liked the guy, right? Never, no. Never was comfortable with Nixon. Nixon wasn't comfortable with Nixon, you know. <laughs> uh, and yet he emerged out of that Vietnam debacle. That's the only reason he made it. I mean, and Kennedy would have been, uh, Robert Kennedy was killed, of course, but he, he, he really lucked out. And the movie was about tripping over the bodies until you stumble into office, and it was a complete, of course, nothing simple. It was, it was both disaster and triumph. And I saw my father in a way, because my father was getting older, and I saw him mellow. And that after, after 60, the way a man uh, who is often very tough can mellow and change some of his opinions. So I saw that, and I, I think that Nixon also, uh, one of the great speeches Nixon ever gave was his resignation speech. It's a beautiful speech. Whatever. What makes you think a man on the day of his worst day of his life could say that he was wrong to have let bitterness uh, enter his heart and hate his enemies? He, he made that point.